Hi gang. So in our food forest, garden, orchard, um, got these jack legs, seven foot fences to try and keep the elk and deer out. We also have a two by four wire mesh, but the bunnies, believe it or not, can get right through that. In here, looking at the damage that's been done. And this is gonna die now. So it's called, it's been girdled. And you can see underneath here, look at all this, all these droppings. And this fur, little cottontails come in. So in here, cleaning up the mess. Those little suckers live in that wood pile out there. I like them on the property. I just don't like them in here as much. So I'll be in here pruning. Got my little pellet gun in here. And if I see them, then maybe I'll try and harvest one for dinner. So I'm thinking cottontail, polenta, tomato, garlic, rosemary, ragu type sauce, some red wine. And we'll take you guys along on our culinary afternoon. Time to gather the goods. Ingredients, sea salt, and Jack's Farm hot, hot pepper, celery, and parsley. It's super cool. I'm gonna put that on a rabbit. So these are 2018 just dehydrated oysters and bay leaves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple bay leaves, throw them in there, I'm gonna take the oysters, and I'm just gonna break them up like this. And then I'm gonna throw them broken into smaller pieces into the jar. I'll take the kettle, take hot water, pour it over my dry mushrooms and my bay leaf, and that'll become the mushroom broth. One would think a professional chef would have a pepper mill, but alas, I still to this day do not own a pepper mill. Okay, just gonna go into our broth. We want it kind of peppery, cut it to a little spicy. These mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, coming out starting in around May here in Montana. They're free for the picking. I always think about foraging responsibly though and try not to just clean out a clutch if I find wild mushrooms and maybe, I think there's a forager's rule, maybe you take half, leave half. I think I've heard so many different percentages, but I think the whole point is to just be conscious, right? So I haven't seen a rabbit pump out yet, so cleaning freezers, this is what I find. Cottontail rabbit, 2016, come on, time to eat it. Two hams, these are the back legs, front shoulder and the cage, that's what that is. Another front shoulder and the cage, I guess this is just the back hips. We'll take avocado oil, super good for your heart, super yummy. I'm gonna put a little on there just to drizzle. Lemon thyme. This was out of the garden from, I think, last year's haul. Right, B? Yep. Oh, smell that. Ooh. Jack's Farm homies, love you guys. This is your herb salt from last year. So I think this is gonna be beautiful on here. So we're also gonna put that on. Single cocktail. Put these up into like a smallish dice. Okay, celery. I'm gonna add this onion, tomatoes. Just gonna let this be like that. All right, let's make this. Montana Mex avocado oil. Woo! Fire's hot. Grits are doing their thing. Ooh, that smells great. A little bit of that olive brine. It's gonna give our stocks a nice depth. All of our aromatics are in. We wanna add rosemary. Really, the, this is about to be a wet pot, and so all of that moisture is gonna help just pull the flavor out of that dry rosemary. A little Montana Mex ketchup. Great way to use ketchup for more than just burgers and fries. So in a sense, call it like tomato paste, but on fire, you know, just to make like happy hour for tomato paste. Look at this. So now let's add a mushroom broth. Now we're gonna just let that come up to a simmer and do its thing. So that bay leaf, all these dried mushrooms, we want this to go into our gravy, so we're pulling this out. And then, let's 
check our rabbit out. Ooh, look at that beautiful ham. That's lovely. Let's so go in. Love that this rabbit's been smoked on the Traeger, so it's gonna add some nice deep smoky notes to this sauce, to the gravy. Highly recommend, if you can, get outside. Bring some food with you outside, whether it's a cup of tea, a glass of water, if you're cooking rabbit cacciatore, maybe you're subbing in chicken, because that's what you have in your fridge. Maybe you're vegan, maybe you're vegetarian, and you're just doing a vegetable cacciatore. Go for it, do it. What matters is that we're cooking, what matters is that we're feeding ourselves, and enjoying it, celebrating it.